लोकासपालय से हे स्वशंति विवशावशे दुजा इवा शिचा बद्धा सकाल ही कारणम all living beings in the planets of the universe in all the planets of the universe including the presiding deities of all planets are fully under the control of the lord they work like birds caught in a net who cannot move independently very beautiful statement of vrtasura in fact many devotees they cram all the shlokas because it is so glorious Bhagavatam is so glorious. It is mentioned in even other Puranas. Bhagavatam is that scripture in which the prayer of Vritta Sura is there. It's too glorious. His prayers are not ordinary, and also we discuss he is actually speaking. The condition in which he is offering these prayers shows his exalted situation. Uh, it is the realized, you know. Sometimes we also speak big, big statements. We can, ah, everything is moving by the will of the Lord. He is full having realization, full realization. When he got cursed by Mother Durga, he accepted the curse. Everything is moving by the will of the Lord. I cannot counter curse. I cannot repel the curse. Here is Mother Durga here. Yes, I accept the curse. No problem. And then he has come. And unnecessarily he was cursed. He didn't do any mistake. Indra was uh, Lord Shiva was sitting in an assembly giving class, and his wife was sitting on a lap. So Vitra Sura, what kind of example is this? Huh? As to Chennai example, illa, because Chennai copy marta ra. Then people will also give class. Wife is sitting on the lap. It's not good example, but his platform is very high. He is a just taken darshan of the Lord. He is a pure devotee of the Lord, and Lord Shiva also did not take any office. And all the sages present in the class, they did not take any office because if there is an aparada, people will block the ears and walk away. No, we don't know here. Nobody does this. And Shiva was rather smiling. <laughs> Correct, not the best way. But the um, kind of assembly he had, it doesn't matter. You know, the great sages are sitting with him. And then, just like we have so many murtis, uh, Laksh uh, Narsimha is sitting with this uh, Lakshmi on his lap. Correct? Okay, it's fine. Because for the Lord, it's fine, and for the people, devotees, it's also fine. No problem. So Shiva is similarly sitting with Parvati on his lap, and he's giving Bhagavatam. It's fine. But it's not a good example in a, for general public because they think, ah, we will also do like that. That's not public should give a class. That is new way of giving class. <laughs> but he didn't mean any offense in his heart. Just. Making a joke. Sometimes they make a joke, but there is no offense. So nobody took offense. Shiva did not take offense. The old people, thousands of people attending the Pravachan, great sages, they did not take any offense. That's so, a slight joke. But Parvati thought he is trying to. Or Durga thought same. She is. She thought he is trying to correct my husband. Who is he? To correct. She said even Brahma does not think to correct my husband. Who are you? Who has given you the task of correcting this whole world? Hey, this is not correct. This is not correct. Who has given you the service? Uh, this is a great offense you have made, my dear son. Finally, everybody is a child. So become a demon now. As a rectification, you have to be rectified now. So accept it as a will of the Lord, because he knows even she cannot act independent of the will of the Lord. That's a great devotee. Nothing can move without the will of the Supreme. Understand the will. Krishna's will. What is it? When somebody is dying, they leave a will. Huh? That time they leave the will, no? Every may. So similarly, will. Will means what is the wish? Krishna's decision. She may have said something now. Maybe she did not understand. She misunderstood. That's okay. But she is only the immediate cause, the remote cause. Krishna cannot make a mistake. So I have to take a this body. I take it. No problem. And it may not in my etiquette to counter curse. So he didn't do anything. Actually, it was totally unjustified. Such a heavy punishment. It's okay. That's fine. It's fine. And and then he comes. He becomes a demon, and he's fighting with Indra. And Prabhu says something very very nice in the purport here. He says actually, if you took what is the definition of a sura and a sura, 
Prabhupada makes a very beautiful definition. Sura means who accepts the everything is moving by the will of the Supreme. That's a Sura, that's a devotee. If suppose I have a difficult position and I curse Krishna, then I am actually challenging Krishna. Why this situation has come? If you are challenging the situation, you are challenging the Supreme. Suppose tomorrow you get fever. So why God has given you? No, why I got fever? That means you are challenging God itself. He arranged. When you challenge a situation, you are challenging Krishna. They say, Mirko Bukhara again. मेरे बुखार क्यों आ गया? That means आप भगवान भगवान पे आरोप लगा रहे हैं, करें? उनके बिना कुछ नहीं हो सकता। Clear ना? तो similarly वृतासुर आ, his situation has one by one been drastic, been born in a body of a demon, and he did so much tapasya to get darshan. Or previously he did tapasya under the guidance of Narada, he did tapasya, and after tapasya he got darshan of Krishna, but he is not proud of that. अरे यार इट्स सो मच हार्ड वर्क आई गोट दर्शन ऑफ कृष्णा एंड ये शी मेड मी इनटू अ डीमन नो नो द बिल ऑफ द सुप्रीम नो प्रॉब्लम्स फाइन इट्स अ कंपलीटली ब्यूटीफुल प्लेटफॉर्म एंड देन नाउ ही इज इन द बैटल ही इज फाइटिंग द बैटल नाउ व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इंद्रा इज हैविंग डाउट्स अबाउट द नारायण अस्त्र इज हैविंग जस्ट इमेजिन ही इज हैविंग डाउट व्हेदर ही कैन विन दिस वॉर एंड फर्स्ट व्हेन इंद्रा थ्रू अ गदा ही टुक दैट गदा एंड हिट The head of the Aravata and Aravata fell on the ground with Indra also on the ground. And uh, Vitasura gave them, no, no, I'm not going to kill you. You know, because as a Kshatriya, we get it. Indra is fully embarrassed. You know, it's nothing more shame when, you know, for a Kshatriya, you are fighting on the battle and the opponent can kill you. No problem. Lift your weapon again. It's like, what a bejati, pura bejati. Indra has a pride of being the greatest warrior. Actually, in this universe, true, among the devatas, he is one of the greatest warriors. He is the king among the devatas, and he comes to fight. And two times already, he has been given mercy. First time, he threw a gada and he hit. Second time, again, he cut his one, and he was not even lifting his bajra. Then lift, lift your bajra. It will work. Don't worry. Have faith. It will work. If the will of the supreme, he accepted. With Asura, the Lord has given weapon to Indra to kill me. I accept. My death now. Imagine fully accepting. Krishna wants me to die. He has given a weapon to Indra which will kill me. I accept Krishna's will. Krishna's will is I die now. Correct. We are also going to see a situation when you know now there's no no longer doctor says now you're going to die. Nothing can be done. Okay, my Lord, you wish me to die. I accept it. Anything it can happen next moment for us. Correct. Okay? Suppose we have some situation, health situation. We are lying in a hospital bed. A doctor says, "Now nothing can be done." Oh my Lord, I accept. See how great he is. He accepting death now, and his one hand has been cut. Imagine how much it is bleeding. Still in the painful condition, he is accepting will of the Supreme. He is not doubting. He is not saying, "Oh my Lord, why did you forsake me?" Nothing. He is accepting will of the Lord, and he is ready to fight still. He because that the he has birth has been given according to that he has to fight Indra, and Indra has unnaturally killed his brother Vishrupa Brahmana. So his father had ordered him to come. He has accepted that also. Everything accepting as the will of the Supreme. Krishna has willed me to die in this matter, and now Indra throws a weapon, and with that weapon again he hits Indra, uh, and then what happens? Indra is not on the ground again second time. And his vajra is fully thrown away this time. That uh, special Narayana vajra, which five wish to kill. And Vitasura says, "Lift that, lift that weapon. Come, fight with me. Just imagine." So Prabhupada is saying, actually, after being second time defeated and giving mercy by Vitasura, Indra was feeling very morose. Kya? Yes, a kya ho gaya? Are you accept will of the supreme? Therefore, Vitasura is going to say, "I may die or you may die. That's a different issue. Why you are feeling sad? Do your duty. Why you are attached? What is the shloka in Bhagavad Gita? Karma ne vadikara te ma phale shukada chana. You fight as a devata. You have to fight a demon. You are fighting. I as a demon, I have to fight a devata. I am fighting. Fight. Ma phale sho. Why you are attached to the phala? Do your duty. So now, who is Sura? 
even though indra is sitting in the body of a devata vitasura is sitting in the body of demon actually vitasura is sura and indra is asura <laughs> why he does not have faith in the will of the supreme he doesn't have faith you know previously also we know the lord is so pleased with the vitasura he will leave his body now and go back to god can we all know what is going to happen but when the devatas when the vitasura was born and the devatas all could went to fight with him they threw weapons he caught all the weapons and he swallowed the weapons yeah he was so huge devatas just panicked and ran away hmm. just ran away they fainted and they ran away from there and they prayed to supreme please 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 one giant de- demon has come with us sura please 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 come and the lord appeared what do you want you are my devotee they devotee no doubt what do you want no we know at uh, this incarnation vara incarnation you kill hiranaksha and narsimha incarnation you kill hiranakashibu and the ravana raul rama incarnation ki ravana now again you have come please kill this vitasura lord said what kind of prayer are you making <laughs> i have come say my lord take me to vaikuntha dhama eh please kill this demon so we can enjoy afsaraj we can live very nicely in indrapuri and we can nicely eat nicely sleep what nonsense this prayer is he says that he corrects us so who is sura who is asura if you take strictly speaking actually they may be devotees but because they are not able to understand the will of the lord they are not able to understand why indra was not joyful why is he became morose vitasura one hand is gone still is smiling and indra one vajra fell from his hand correct anyway is going to die now hand is cut blood is coming out but still is doing his duty i have to fight okay but indra is you know in a great dilemma is thinking are mare you know my vajra is gone now i cannot lift and this person will kill me now and he is very morose his reputation is gone as a great fighter all are watching all people are watching just like in a boxing match you get 2 3 and and people say oh then you lose your respect no i am a great warrior so indra is thinking what will everybody think what the mother sachi will think what all these people will think he is thinking thinking like that papa people will laugh at me now he is becoming very morose he so much is attached to the personal doership oh i did like this i did like that and But Rita Sura is fully accepted the will of the Supreme. The Lord wants me to die. So he is actually very uh, important here. Chapter can also be titled Rita Sura's instructions to Indra. Just imagine a joke. A demon is giving katha, ba ba, bhasha to a <laughs> devata. <laughs> devata is sitting alone. <laughs> This is actually a reverse situation. Compared to Rita Sura, Indra is an asura. but the definition of sura and sura is not because of the body or the birth it because do we accept the will of the lord uh, the prophet has said so many wonderful things on the will of the lord he says in the bhagavad gita he says most of the people who write bhagavad gita he says in the preface they do not write bhagavad gita to explain the will of the supreme they have their own will krishna has a will what is the krishna's will in bhagavad gita sarva dharman parityajya maam ekam sharanam this is the will of krishna given in bhagavad gita what is the will you give up everything just surrender to me that is the will of krishna so but most of the people they don't explain this will of krishna they bhagavad gita is nothing but will of krishna what is dharma dharmam tu sakshat bhagavat pranitam dharma is will of the supreme just like the road traffic laws are not made at house it is will of the government okay do like this do like this we accept it now they say you have to give it to give fine you give fine like this you have to give correct so we have to accept the will of the supreme but people do not accept the will so they remain asuras uh, so you see throughout the vedic literatures the will of the supreme is being said uh, prabhupada also when he is going to america he says in the cargo ship by your will my lord they are into illusion and if you so desire by your will they can come out so all devotion service all krishna consciousness or progress in krishna consciousness everything of the will of the supreme mm-hmm. nobody can defy his will rakhe krishna mare ke mare krishna rakhe ke krishna wants to protect somebody nobody can kill him 
And Krishna wants to kill somebody, nobody can protect him. That is the will of the Supreme. So the devotee always is eager to see what is the will of the Supreme. He knows his life is for the will. The example given in Bhagavatam is the Yudhishthira Maharaj sends Arjuna to meet Krishna in Dwarka. Okay, Mahabharata war is over, we are the emperors, that's fine. What is the next service Krishna wants us to do? Please go and find out. Prabhupada says they are always malleable to the will of the Lord. They were not ideal parasites. Prabhupada says a beautiful purport there. Pandavas were not ideal parasites, simply sleeping. No, they were great kings. Krishna made them fight the war. Krishna did not say, Arjuna, Pandavas just sit, you all smoke ganja. I will get you the kingdom. No, they will fight. That's what today we think. I will sit and sleep and smoke ganja and God will do everything for me. Very good. No, you have to do your work. Uh, so we have to do our work, but at the same time depend on the will of the Supreme. We do our duty enthusiastically. So Pandavas enthusiastically fight the war on the order of Krishna. They didn't want the war actually. They said, forget the kingdom, we will go to the forest. Arjuna spoke Bhagavad Gita, but similar, uh, the, uh, Arjuna gave the questions in Gita, but similar question all the Pandavas have, because they are of the same nature. They are all Asuras, they are not Asuras. But when Krishna says, it is my will, I want this war, they say, okay, we'll fight the war. They fought for Krishna, not for themselves. Correct? Arjuna said, no, I don't want the kingdom. Then why is he fighting? Because Krishna wanted the war. Okay? We can understand in that way. So they fought the whole war by the will of the Supreme. Then after the war was over, they were the emperors. At that moment, Yudhishthira Maharaj sent whom? He used to Mara and Arjuna, go to Dwaraka, find out what does Krishna want. So he went to Dwaraka and he found out that Krishna is not there. Krishna has already disappeared. Dwaraka has gone inside water. So he came back to inform Krishna. Krishna has disappeared now. Then what do we do? Our life is to execute the will of the Lord. The Lord is not there. No instruction is also there for anything next. Whatever is to be done, we have done it. That means we go back to Krishna. There is nothing to do here. He left the kingdom, walked away out of the kingdom. Whole life is absorbed for the will of the Supreme. So beautiful. Prabhupada also, when he was leaving the world, the devotees were crying. He said, no, I have finished my task. My task is over. The devotees are always thinking, what is my will? Uh, what does Krishna wills me to do? It's always absorbed. Uh, Similarly, Bhaksandha Prabhupada also received the order from his spiritual master and guru and from his father and he tried to execute that. Execute the will of the Supreme, of the Supreme through the spiritual master, through the Acharya. Same thing we can see Rupa Goswami, Shri Krishna, Shri Krishna, Shri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Stabatam Yena Bhutale. Shri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam, the will of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. What is the will of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? For Rupa Goswami, what was the will? Establish Vrindavana, write the Vedic literature, so he did it. Uh, Sri Chaitanya Manobhishtam, Stabatam, he understood the heart of Lord Chaitanya, what he wants. Uh, it is said that when there was a devotee called Vasudeva Datta, when he went to Lord Chaitanya, and he said, my dear Lord, if people are not, cannot go back to Godhead, because of their sinful activities, you give me their karma. I cannot see them suffering in this world. About the Lord Chaitanya, immediately Bhagavad Chaitanya Charitamrita says, tears came in the eyes of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Tears dropped in the eyes. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he, he understood the will of Lord Chaitanya. What does Lord Chaitanya want? He could easily, easily understand. So he understood the heart of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It's not easy. Many times, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to ask Sarudha Mother, how he has understood my heart? Uh, so, he used to say, it's by your mercy. So, to our life should be to understand what does Krishna wants me to do? Uh, what, what I should do now? Instead of constantly we are thinking what I want to do. I am full of, uh, what do you say, stinking material desires, stinking ahankara, and running around, fulfilling that. Uh, the life of a devotee is, what does Krishna wants me to do? What does Krishna want now? He's fully absorbed from morning to evening. What does Krishna want? How do I satisfy Krishna now? Take care. That should be your life. Not full of ahankara, full of... It takes, true. You cannot clean it up in one day, all the kachara. 
but at least we should know and we should not be averse to this principle my life is to fulfill the desire of krishna fulfill the mission of krishna shila prabhat ki shivan bhagavatam in life we get into various perplexities many time and we don't know how to uh, take a decision similarly arjuna we know in the battlefield was in a great perplexing situation in his course of his duty as a warrior because his own family people were standing against him including his teacher and his grandfather but fortunately he took shelter of krishna who guided him and the message of bhagavad gita therefore came out the first thing krishna teaches to arjuna is that we should not be affected by any condition of the body either living or dead because we are not the body we are spirit soul part and parcel of krishna and krishna explains this to various arguments and then krishna talks about how we can control our mind and senses and we have to be so careful if we are careless the consciousness becomes degraded different steps how the consciousness degrades are discussed in bhagavad gita and how in a degraded consciousness person considers i think even a sinful life to be a great pleasure and finally he ends up uh, even going to a wrong destination after death our even worship depends on what kind of consciousness we have cultivated so to come out of all this people practice yoga uh, gyana ashtanga and bhakti and among them gita concludes that bhakti yoga is the highest yoga which makes us reach krishna's lotus feet in vaikuntha and in kaliyuga the best way to practice bhakti yoga is chanting the holy names of the lord hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare and various examples are in given in the bhagavad gita how we should be determined in this in any course of any activities we are doing we can reach the lord's lotus feet we have to keep in mind four tendencies to uh, help us not to reach the lord and four tendencies to help us reach the lotus feet of the lord krishna also talks about chaturvarna in bhagavad gita as different occupation which are not based on birth can finally make us reach krishna message of bhagavad gita as it comes from krishna to sun god vivaswan to his son manod then to ikshvaku is discussed in gita how the parmatma is there in everybody's heart witnessing our activities how this metal world is the inverted form of the spiritual world and krishna also reveals in bhagavad gita we all know vishwarupa and in the vishwarupa arjuna could see practically all the universe all the powers of the universe all incarnations are within krishna and this information helps us to surrender to the lord because when you know god is great we take his shelter and krishna also talks about the principle that he comes in various incarnations and after that arjuna hearing all these things decides to surrender to krishna and that is how the bhagavad gita comes it has been published in kannada in karnataka and it is a very popular uh, book we also have it in all the various languages all around the world please do visit our center at iskon at nanthur hare krishna